These last two weeks were my last ones spent in Montreal near the Radha Manohar Iskan Temple. As you're watching this, my friends and I are already on our way to the Hare Krishna farm in BC. Before leaving, I really wanted to make one more painting. As I mentioned in a previous video, I was asked by a devotee from the temple to finish and do over some paintings that were left behind by a devotee who passed away. A few weeks ago, I completed Radharani's painting. And this past week, I've been working on this painting of Krishna and his baby calf. It looked like this when I started working on it, so the outlines were already made and all, but I slowly remade it so to make it look more complete. The final result will be shown at the end of this video. I'm leaving my paint in storage so to travel lightly and so I took advantage of my last few days here to upgrade one of my own paintings. The truth is, for a long time now, I haven't been doing so well. I don't know where my place is. I've been cherishing Krishna in my heart since childhood and I tried to make my way towards him. But I lost my way a few times. I used to think making a career in the arts, following the modern society's ways, going to university, would allow me to be an artist, make money, and serve Krishna. But I ended up feeling so off. I used to think it didn't matter whether the people I associated with were matching me in my energy or not. But really, I've been carrying feelings of loneliness and being out of place this whole time. I still want to be in the arts. It calls to me a lot for sure, but I want it to come from Krishna's directions. I want to feel that he's happy, that what I do serves him. I also want to be surrounded by people who make me feel connected to Krishna, who make me feel at home, because I want to find my true home. I did a little ritual recently in which I wrote down all that is preventing me from moving forward with my life on a piece of paper and then I burnt it. Praying to Krishna and my guides for it all to be taken away. I find myself holding back a lot due to past painful feelings I'm holding on to. I've experienced a lot of heartbreak over the last few years and I'm realizing it's really been affecting how much I believe in myself or like how much enthusiasm I have for life or how much optimism I have and how much willpower I have to like actually make something with my life and when I wake up in the morning <laughs> I don't feel a reason to get up I just do it because I have to do it I keep making efforts towards 
these callings I have, even though I don't even feel enthusiasm for it that much because truly I still feel hurt <laughs> I feel like there's no point to me get, getting things done or doing everything that I do because it has no meaning and <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, it has no value Krishna doesn't need it, no one really needs it but I just feel so useless and meaningless <laughs> all of my worth in the hands of someone else and I based my worth and my values depending on how that person was treating me and I lost so much of myself and I tried for so long to fit their, the mold of these people so that I would feel loved and so that I would feel valued that I forgot who I was and now I want to find myself back I want to remember my soul's aspirations at their pure like origin because they were influenced by the people that were in my life which were not really good for me and now I don't <clears throat> I don't know or I have a hard time connecting with uh, what I truly want because I'm just overburdened with all those thoughts and feelings of being a shit, <laughs> basically. <laughs> because of how I was treated and I like identified with it and all, if I can travel, meet new people, do things that are more so aligned with my soul in Krishna consciousness uh, and in like Dharma and my natural abilities for the arts and stuff like that if I can do this and connect more to my true self then maybe I will remember better who I am there are certain things that I need in order to get clarity back from within so that I can move forward in Krishna consciousness and in this life in the right direction and properly and so that's why I'm leaving <laughs> And that's why I'm going to search. I've always known I wanted to go towards Krishna, but I've always been confused as to how. I think I've been limiting myself a lot, thinking I always had to play safe, to make sure I would be okay financially and capable of providing for my needs. I have been feeling so stuck in disbelief. What if following my true callings, listening to Krishna's guidance and following his directions would also provide security, safety, abundance? What if I was to trust him a little more, to trust my own intuition more? These are scary questions to go by, but I want to trust. I cannot ignore what I'm being called to pursue now I wish to be guided in using it all for Krishna and hopefully develop my relationship with him as we go. We are parts and parcels of God. That's why we are meant to be most happy in relationship with Him. It's as if all of us souls were different leaves from one big tree. If we only focus on the single leaf that we are, or the leaves that surround us, nourishing them, taking care of them, well, neither us or the other leaves will truly be nourished. But if we focus on the roots of the tree, giving it water and love, then all the leaves will benefit from it. We should focus on the roots like we should focus on God or Krishna. 
then every soul will feel nourished, every soul will feel fulfilled. This makes so much sense to me. And of course, it's not that easy to apply because I have my own selfish desires and I care about my needs. But I'm learning that as I offer everything to Krishna, He can take care of my needs. It is very easy to simply offer our food, offer a prayer, offer a flower or a dollar. It's really not much. Krishna is honestly all I'm longing for. He is the most powerful being. He is beautiful. He is bright. He is loving, caring, and kind. He is strong and dependable. He is trustworthy. He is all-knowing and limitless. He has everything to offer. There is no one better than Him. Whatever we're looking for, stability, love, affection, care, he can give. He is a lover, a friend, a guide, a parent, a child, everything. There's no need to look anywhere else. He's got it all. He's got everything for us to love him. There's no reason for us not to love him. And so, let's remember that we love him. I want to remember every day that all that I have is from him. All that I receive is from him. All that I learn is from him and that without him, my life would be darker than I can possibly imagine.
left uh, in my kitchen and so I have three ripe bananas, some oatmeal and some flour that I need to pass like that I need to use before I leave because I'm not going to be able to bring any food with me we're just going to like do grocery store as we go when we're on the road so I made these cookies and let's see how it turned out banana oatmeal cookie it's good I wish this video has made you feel a little closer to God. He is right there in your heart. Please take a moment to listen and feel. Can you feel him? Thank you. I love you.